Hi, I'm Catherine Gonick from Cold Spring, New York, with a poem about travel to Europe in days of yore. Now that Americans can't travel easily to Europe, I'm seeing past trips there through a new golden haze, not my own vacations, but the ones our parents took when we were children. By the 60s, thanks to US money, Post-war Europe had revived, but not too much. Everything was still a bargain, and Americans could go anywhere on Pan Am. Our parents had driven to Mexico, which was fun, except for getting La Turista. In Europe, the food was a revelation, that first taste of croissant, pasta, puttanesca, and to actually see Notre Dame, stand in the ruins of the Forum, visit so many places our father knew from high school Latin. Gaul was no longer divided into three parts. When they came, they saw, they conquered, the boredom and sadness of the Great Depression and war, when they were poor and young, with no place to go. They made eight trips in all, with another equally travel-mad couple. Their double-date joyrides lasted for weeks. On the first one, being Americans, they drove their own car, a powder blue Hillman convertible our parents picked up in London. Our father controlled the wheel, our mother her window. In the back seat, the other wife planned the day's sights. Her husband refilled his flask. They journeyed without GPS, ATMs, digital phones, only paper maps, burlitz, and Michelin books. They spent the night wherever they ended up. They were charmed, never had to call home. The four of them drove wherever they could, including the eastern lands their own parents fled, opting out of poverty and persecution. After the Bolshoi ballet, when my mother's passport went missing, they had a bit of a fright. But after a two-day delay, the Soviets waved them on. They were Americans, blessed, with the world's freest and healthiest bodies and wallets, the strongest democracy. There was no stopping them. Back in our mock Tudor home, we kids didn't miss them. We liked our mother's best friend, a nice woman who took good care of us. We liked getting bright colored postcards, reading our mother's chicken track scrawl, wish you were here. We knew that they didn't, and we didn't care. They were in Berlin, Naples, Vienna, Sofia, at the Acropolis in a campground near Lake Tiberius. We knew we'd be there ourselves in a few years. Life was good in America. It would only get better. We could go anywhere.